Right, in this example, I'm going to solve this log problem. I think this is a new one or a new style one we haven't worked on before. If you notice, there are logs on both sides of the equation. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, release this power, so to speak. I use that terminology a lot. So I'm going to bring that down in the front. That's my power property. So that becomes 5 times the log of x equals 4 plus 3 times the log of x. And so I'm just going to combine like terms. On this side I've got 5 log x's and on this side I've got 3 log x's. So let's subtract 3 log x's. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So I have 2 log x's on the left and that equals 4. And now at this point I can divide by 2. So now I've got the log of x equals 2. And remember, if there's no base there, it's really that invisible base 10. So now I can do the loop. Put my pencil on the 10. 10 to the 2 equals x. Let's write that over here. 10 to the 2 equals x. And x is 100. All right, so that's the end of this first example.